Hey, what's up everybody? Pastor Elliot here, coming at you from Lifeline Church. We want to start something back up again that we used to do a lot, a midweek mentoring tip. Um, I'm, so, I'm so excited to be with you today, and I want to read for you today Ephesians 6, starting in verse 13. Now check this out. Therefore, put on every piece of God's armor, so you'll be able to resist the enemy in the time of evil. Then, after the battle, you will still be standing firm. Stand your ground, putting on the belt of truth and the body armor of God's righteousness. For shoes, put on the peace that comes from the good news so you'll be fully prepared. In addition to all of these, hold up the shield of faith to stop the fiery arrows of the devil. Put on salvation as your helmet and take the sword of the Spirit, which is the Word of God. So what I want to talk to you about today is the fact that yeah, these, these pieces of armor, they're cool. They give us a picture. They give us this illustration of... Yeah, we're all suited up. We're ready to go. I got my shield here and those fiery darts are coming at me thunk, thunk, and I stopped them. But there's there's something here I think a lot of us miss that that we have to wake up in the morning. Paul is saying, hey, wake up in the morning and suit up, man. You, we we want to put on God's armor. That means we have a part to play in that. We step into that armor. It's not something that just happens. It's not something that just, you know, I'm walking along and, hey, you know, God's armor. Cool. It just happened. No. Put on the armor of God. Put on that helmet. Hey, put, take up that shield of faith. That means you get your arm in it. Pick up that shield of faith and say, you know what, devil? I'm, I've got my faith here. I'm picking it up. I'm ready to go. I'm ready to stop all that schemes that you've got coming at me. I'm, I'm picking up my armor. I'm putting it on. And I'm ready to stand against you all those schemes of the devil. That's my word of encouragement for you today. That you would, that you would step in to God's armor. As you go back and, and read Ephesians 6 for yourself and let this wash into you, let this wash over you, that you would decide today that I'm not going to let the devil's schemes just happen to me. That I'm going to take on that armor of God. I'm going to put it on for myself. That's my prayer for you today is that you would put on God's armor for yourself. Let me pray for you. Father, in the name of Jesus, I just pray that everybody listening here today would have encouragement, peace, and hope that comes only from you. In Jesus' name, amen. Hey, God bless all of you, and we will see you right here next week.